10. Are you tired of waiting for your kids to count up every time they see a quantity? There's a much faster way, isn't there? 7, 5, 8, 9. In this video, we look at the mental math strategies that help my kids understand numbers 6 to 10 without counting. Coming right up. Hi, I'm Leanne, a teacher turned stay-at-home mom and on this channel, I do parenting, education and tip videos just like this. If this is the first time we meet, I'm so glad you could join us. If you want to follow us on our learning journey, go ahead and click that subscribe button over there. This is the second video in a series on our family's favourite mental math strategies that we use for building early number sense. In the first video, we demonstrated numbers 1 to 5. In this video, we're going to work on recognising quantities from 6 to 10 by supertizing, which is, if you remember, how to discern quantities at a glance without having to count. I'll also share more mental math games to reinforce this and one of our most used math manipulatives, so make sure you stay to the end. You may be wondering at this point, but Leanne, how do they learn the sequence of numbers if all we do is quantities? Make sure you stay to the end for a bonus activity that will use their new supertizing skills and teach them the concept of order and sequence. Numbers bigger than 5 work on a strong understanding that this is 5. This is also 5. This is 5. So 5 and one more is 6. 5 and one more is 6. This is 6. This is 6. We always know that this is 5. It never changes. So we know immediately that 5 and 2 more is 7. Can you see how I'm emphasizing that there are more? This is integral in learning sequence and order later. 5 and 2 more is 7. 5 and 2 more is 7. So let's move on to 8. We show 5 on one hand and 3 on the other. This is 8. Are you beginning to see the pattern of reinforcing 5 as a unit? 5 and 3 is 8. 5 and 3 is 8. This is 8. Now you may be imagining that 4 and 4 is also 8, but hang on. That's a doubles fact. It's another mental math strategy that we will touch on in a later video. But for now, we want kids centering their understanding around the unit of 5. Kids usually have some difficulty between 7 and 8, so make sure you give them enough time and opportunities with the games I suggest at the end of this video so that it really sticks. Then there is 9. 9 is a bit easier because it's almost your whole hand but one less. So let's review. This is 4. 5 and 4 more is 9. 5 and 4 is 9. 5 and 4 more is 9. 9? And finally there is 10 which is so special. Two fives. 10 is 5 and 5. 10 is 5 and 5. This is 10! 10 is 5 and 5. So now at a glance, you can tell quantities from 1 to 10 without having to count. In just a second, I'm going to show you how we use these visual images to teach kids sequence and ordering. But I want to pass the question off to you now. How do you teach your kids about more and less? Let me know in the comments sections down below and I will start first. If you've got an aha moment so far, click the like button. Do you realize we've also introduced addition already? We will talk about addition using mental math strategies in a later video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Counting is slow and prone to mistakes. Instead, we want our kids to discern visual patterns quickly and accurately. Supertizing is a stepping stone to mental math that will give them a permanent understanding of the value so there is no possibility of a callous counting mistake. Make sure you give kids enough time and then some more time to play these matching games and pattern games. Play lots of it. Show quantities on your hands and have her replicate them with her fingers, make them with ice cream sticks and pick up the corresponding dot cards from an array. We want to do it in this particular order so that we are moving from a tangible manipulative that she can control to an abstract concept on paper. Again, 
You want to demonstrate and remind and review to give her some context as to what is expected. Don't forget pattern games to help work on differentiating the numbers 7 and 8 especially. This activity solely focuses on naming these quantities. Recognizing numerals will come later. These are the tiny dot cards available on Amazon. They are super versatile, they are bright, they are big, and most importantly, sturdy enough for little hands. Check the link in the description notes below. So how about actually knowing the order of numbers? Here's the bonus ordering game I promised you. We want to demonstrate that we count from 1 to 10 and then go upward in quantity. Each number is one more than the one before. Get a pack of index cards, draw up some tallies from 1 to 10, show how they increase in size and volume, and practice calling and recognizing them first. Then shuffle them and place all cards in a line face down. To start, pick any card on the number line and find its proper place back on the number line. Place it in the correct position and swap out the card. And then repeat for the card that you just picked up until all the cards are revealed and placed in the correct order and position. This is an excellent game to both reinforce supertizing skills as well as number order skills. Seeing quantities between 6 to 10 as 5 and something else makes it easier for kids to visualize and also prepare kids to develop an understanding of our decimal system. Now your kids are ready to play some more games. Click or tap the YouTube card to see our math game playlist or the link to the playlist in the show notes below. If you've missed the first video in this series which covered numbers 1 to 5, make sure to check it out over here. Thanks again for watching this video. If you've got value out of this video, click the like button, share it with someone who could use this, and I will see you in the next video. Let's